I'm Matt Bouchard at the Hay Adams Hotel in Washington, D.C. for NARIT's 2017 Washington Leadership Forum. Joining me today is Michael Landy, the President and CEO of Monmouth Real Estate Investment Corporation. Michael, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. It's always good to be here. Now, in terms of Monmouth's tenants, are there any notable trends or demands in what they're looking for in the industrial space markets right now? Well, the ongoing trend is that as consumer spending continues to migrate from brick and mortar to e-commerce, there's increasing demand for modern industrial space. So an industrial building that, that's capable of shipping a small package directly to your home is vastly different than a traditional industrial building that was pretty much originally designed just for business to business type distribution. So modern omni-channel industrial buildings are very high tech and you know, in order to completely bypass the retail channel, the tenant needs to make a substantial investment in the infrastructure inside of these buildings. So Mammoth's buildings are highly automated. They contain robotics, in some cases 3D printers, you know, and other cutting edge technologies. So uh, we kind of highlight it in this year's annual report. If you want to see what I'm talking about, just go to our uh, website, check out our new annual report. Now, Monmouth's adjusted funds from operations have been on the upswing for the last five years or so. How have you been able to continue that upward trajectory? Primarily, our earnings growth has been achieved through acquisitions. Our all-star tenant roster have strong businesses and they're growing businesses. And, you know, we've been growing alongside our tenants with the acquisition of brand new Class A built to suit properties. Uh, additionally, you know, there's strong demand for our properties. We're currently 100% occupied. And I guess the last thing I would say is uh, our earnings above and beyond our dividend requirement is the, uh, our cheapest source of capital. And over the last five years, we've been able to build up substantial free cash flow above and beyond our growing dividends. So. We've been on a virtuous cycle and we've been generating double digit per share earnings growth for the last several years. Lastly, in a recent issue of REIT Magazine, we, we profiled your family's legacy in terms of building not just Monmouth, but UMH properties as well. And one of the things that, that really stood out to me was I, I didn't realize that you really got your start more in, in the music industry than, than, than in, the, in the REIT space. So I bet there's some budding entrepreneurs and real estate executives out there who would like to hear how that transition was made and sort of what lessons can be learned. Well, I love that question. It's something I feel I could go on and on about. But I know we, we don't have unlimited time, so the first thing I would say is, you know, many lessons learned in one industry can be applied to completely different fields. And for 15 years, I worked for uh, GRP Records, which was one of the most successful jazz record labels ever. Uh, Larry Rosen and Dave Grusin, the, the founders of the company, were truly visionaries. And we were one of the first companies to record digitally. And when CD technology first came out, there were only two manufacturing plants in the entire world. They were both in Japan. And we used to take our digital master recordings and FedEx them overnight to Japan. And by the time the CDs were manufactured and shipped back, they were completely sold out. And we had to order more. And so I feel like my experience as the chief engineer and technical director for GRP enabled me to you know, see how digital technology would reshape the world of real estate. And I think, uh, you know, when it first came on, it was very, a lot of the thinking was very analog and only just recently in the real estate industry, you know, they're thinking differently. And I think Mama's success is in no small part due to, you know, we saw the digital revolution coming uh, sooner than most. Great. Michael, thank you so much for joining us. My pleasure. Thank you. For more REIT news and analysis, be sure to visit REIT.com.